Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Commander. It's actually a pretty good Legion Commander game. You got the the way to... It's really hard to survive that lane. Speaking of surviving the lane, Storm Stormer in towards mid is going to get taken down. Laurel gets himself first blood. And that's going to be a very happy camper. Uh, well, in the meantime, towards top lane, Mira is trying to juke around Fishman. It's glimpsed to see the other Naga that kind of does the exact same thing. But I think it's... Uh, one of the better heroes to deal with the TB. There's going to be a root coming in. Control on to Katoni. Can he get himself away? No, he cannot. Kill secure. Toby tries to level up in the process. And he's taking a heap of damage oh from the post scout. Last right quick is going to be there. Oh, <laughs> tiny. It's not something to scoff at. So, I'm able to find the double early is a dream. And that metamorph. Clockwork will embrace his death to work with the natures and the tankiness he has to be able to trade out and just get that gold taken. Oh, look at that damage from collapse. He's going and, in. Oh my goodness, that Lots right click is disgusting. Almost. Oh, the sprout. The tree oh. with the trees. Oh, that's a 1v1 scenario. Laurel's not even gone for a bottle on that flash. That's a, a surprising take. Don't need one. But just built different, ready to compete against Bat Rider. Does he have the magic? Wand, I suppose, would be the main priority, I think, to handle it. I mean, he's yeah. beating Bad Rider in lane, so he knows better than us, I'd say. Yeah, I know, he definitely has the magic wand, uh, getting full stacks the entire time. And the plus of that is, of course, that you can get your mana boots faster and your bloodstone faster because you don't need to get yourselves the bottle, which is actually pretty important. Uh, to get. And maybe just take a risk to find something with the travels. Again, no oh, spirit glimpse. breaker. Oh, oh, the glimpse is massive. Okay. It's a bit annoying that you have to dedicate on the long blade, but that's not a big deal early on. Oh my goodness, it was about to be made three times. The silencer interested in diving all the Gets way the to kill. keep on going. The dot oh, the wait silencer. a minute. Arcane Curse. Maposhka is level that's outrageous. six. Yeah, now you can see they're just farming the dire jungle stacks. They need to find a way to defend this triangle if they want to find any hope. If all this gold stolen, it's just going to accelerate further and further for Team Spirit. And it seems like the exorcisms should be able to burn out the silencer and take him down. And that's a massive one. Now Laurel's stuck in the middle of no man's land. The lasso to follow, taken out. They still have the info of those ancient tower. There's no pressure to respawn. The mid, the top tower is taken out. Team Spirit having that oh. map control advantage, and that advantage is about to grow as though. that. So they run away. They have global. If I it... so Watson should probably oh! just sunder. The... He should have sundered the illusions there. He got way too greedy. Uh, they do manage to, at the very least, get Mira in return, but that was way too greedy. He should have just sundered. He... It works on heroes and illusion. It works on even your own illusion, so you can always use it that way. Obviously, you want to use it more aggressively. And uh, as they say that they use an aggressive move towards the bid with the Metamorphosis Watson takes so much damage from the Nature's Prophet ulti, but there's Toby with the mech already available. Yeah, he did have Sunder, or he just leveled Sunder, but he does have Sunder for your opponents. So in return, Storm, Storm are heading through towards the jungle. They get themselves a catch onto the lash. And Global Silence is doing a lot. Good hook shot, but he's still going to die to Toby. The Exorcism doing a bit too much damage. Amira, can he get himself out of there? The clock is dropping very low, Fishman. Does he have the reach? He does have the glimpse, thanks to the illusion giving it. And another kill coming in for Toby. Double kill for Entity. And that is a huge one. They kill off the Lesh. On the side of Spirit. Well, uh, they are going all the way around the tier 2 tower top. Good vision from Mira. Gets the catch on to uh, the Tiny. Toby can heal up in time with the Spirit Siphons through the trees. He's very low, but Toby is going to get taken down. However, they fight themselves a two-man catch. up tries to stay alive in the process, but they're going to lose the Naga Siren. With the BKB, there is no running away from Stormstone. The rest of the team needs to TP out to safety. Laurel will be able to get out, but that was a 
a deep dive and uh, a bit of a problematic one because they do lose Yatro. The damage at this stage is still magical until the Naga gets a lot of farm. So uh, having a pipe guarding Greaves will be able to keep them alive significantly. And you mentioned it during the draft. That's the one thing that Steam Spirit kind of don't build into. They don't want to build into the pipe guarding Greaves. That is one of uh, the big problems on their side. It seems Naga... Dragonman. Still a bit on the Scotty, but with the Metabore, easily enough damage. Especially assuming we'll get... Some of the presence trying to deny the Aegis. Icy move from the Glockwork. They're dedicating to this team fight, actually. Almost able to take the tight under. Ooh, the Terrorblade early. That's a good little joint of Sunder. Yeah, this time he finds the illusion to make sure he does not lose the Aegis at the very least. They lose their two supports, but getting Roshan, the Aegis, and uh, being chased by Storm Storm again, he get away. They find him, they spot him out. Yatra was healing up significantly thanks to that heart, but does eventually get spotted out. There's no sun. There is no way out of here, and eventually Yatoro will die. It did take them a stupidly long time to finally get rid of the Naga Sarim, but Roche is up, and they seem to also find Laurel. Oh, that glint from Fishman. That is huge. They still have the Metamorphosis going off, and that is Laurel down for the for at least 70 seconds unless he buys back for this Roche defense. Farquhar's going to have to make some magic happen to try and steal something from the pit. Uh, you can always make some magic happen going through the bet boom, signing up with your first sign up with the app to get $15 as a free deposit. Just for signing up, click on the banner down below to help direct you there. And that's a Maposhka that's in grave danger. Oh, soon to be taken out. On the side as well, Mira. Something went wrong there because I heard a lasso, but it seems it uh, vanished for half a second, but Mira is going to get uh, taken down. Double buyback comes out. They have the Naga almost respawning as well. So they want to fight for this Roshan, it seems. Can they take Rosh in time? The Naga. Yeah, Rosh will fall to hookshot in. And they get the catch. Actually, no hookshot collapse. He doesn't get any steals. No shard, no nothing, no chance. They have the Aegis on Stormstormer. They have the shard on the TV. They got everything they want. Except Not a turn for the worse. Oh, Laurel decided to go like for a side might be instead of the uh, this axe. Might might be your last team fight. That's a big one. That one they should be able to, at the very least, catch down. Dead for 80 seconds. The rest of the team needs to run away, but the Song of the Sun will be able to, at the very least, get a catch onto the Disruptor. Batrider gets the blink out of there, but it's going to be Fishman taken down. Good catch, good kill. Bop. And that's going to help are allowing them to build back into this. It's going to take a lot more where that came from, but there is a bit more. I go on high ground now. Chipping down the tiny rock. I don't want to buy oh, back until buyback. Found the real one. He drags him all the way back. There's the full control as well. No song is available. Toss comes in. Can they finish off Yatoro? They don't even want to buy back here onto the Terror Blade. Yatoro is still alive though. Toby's hunting for more, but uh, needs to be careful. Will even be held at bay. For now, Katomi will find the Poshka. We'll be able to hold him in place. Yatro is the main target that they need to get rid of, and they know exactly where he is. Storm Storm is joining in the fun. Do they have a way to interrupt it? Yes, they do, with the Hex coming through, and again, Yatro gets caught out. The Naga Siren will fall 70 seconds, no buyback available. The refresher for either of these two teams. So far, the Roche has been favoring Entity side, and they're actually going into the pit immediately with the Exorcism. You have to be very careful of the Naga song. There is going to be a jump in, uh -oh. and Stormstormer goes in hyper aggressively to try and create space. But the fight has been soon. Stormstormer buys back immediately to rejoin his teammates with the bots. Can he get there? No, he actually has the TP onto his outpost. It takes a significantly longer time. That might have been a little bit too uh, aggressive by Stormstormer with the rest of his teammates in the pit. If he popped the BKB, he probably would have been able to get away with murder there. 
Roche is dropping. And, and Song is popping. Despite the pick. And Roche oh, is there dropping. There we go. And can they interrupt it? No, they cannot. The Aegis gets secured. And that's why playing against a Naga with Song is going to be very problematic. Static Storm Kinetic Field comes out. Can they get out of range? No, they're stuck right now being Sion stuff. But the TB, he's going in with the right click damage. And he is doing a significant amount. But the Kog block from here is doing too much in return. And they managed to take down Watson. There's going to be the Aegis pop them back in action. It is going to be Laurel. The lasso holding it. Collapse back and taking them down on towards the edge. It will be pretty significant here, but they need to back off on the remaining heroes for NT with a buyback from Collapse. You can rejoin Frey and he gets the flight near catch onto the support. Fishman and Kataomi will both be taken down and it's going to be only Stormstorm the left standing on the side of Entity. Granted, they do have fun. on this lineup and you finally have to sustain with the Naga. They aren't able to clear out the illusions with the Batrider taken out so early in the fight, getting caught out. And that means that Gotaro can just flick away, melt away anyone on Entity bit by bit and they're forcing oh, the buybacks. They're going to be able to take out the silencer, but it's this clockwork once again, keeping them locked down. The Terrorblade's able to click out the natures, but it's not going to be so easy to do that against the uh, Siren Glimpse. Song. I oh, know the Glimpse is dead. Disruptor has fallen, but can they even get out of there is the big question. The chase for more comes through. Lasso drag. Marl's going to get caught. He's going to get taken down. Yatoro's trying to turn this around, but Toby's taking no damage. The DP is too tanky against physical damage right now. He will, at the very least, get the TP back to safety. And everyone's cooldowns pretty much are not available right now. Granted, a finish push here on the side of Entity. Look at that. Even with the deaths, all of that swung us to a tied net worth lead after all that. Everything's broken even. Now this Naga can set up soon to get a butterfly. which is going to make these illusions able to deny... The Terror Blade from flicking her down as easily. Yeah, they, at least I think so. I don't know what uh, items the Terror Blade has. You could have an MKB for all we know. I uh, don't really know. Uh, don't really think he has an MKB currently, though. There is going to be at least an attempt to keep Yatro at bay. They are going to head forward. But the problem is the DP ulti is going to continue taking down the towers in the process while the song is going off and the control comes out onto Yasuo. The Naga is being absolutely blasted right now, has a cheese, needs to pop it to stay alive but with the buyback available from Lal as well, that's going to be their last hurrah for more. They're, they get the fortification to keep the, the towers alive. Katomi tries to keep them inside the fountain. There's going to be the charge forward to the TP, trying to get the kill. Nice force test to keep the TP out of there. He gets hexed up though, and that's a big problem. Disruption isn't going to disrupt. Isn't going to be enough. Watson has a Sunder available. He needs to find a target. Uses Fishman for his food and is going to jump in aggressively in return. That's the death of all with Yatro. Dead collapse. Going to get tossed up into the middle of the lane. And Entity takes game number one, which was. It's such a close game trip. This bad rider saved the day. It, uh, like, they're... It's really nasty. Fishman, though, is being chased right now. They're trying to get the kill. Found Rune, picked up by Fishman, will be speared to the tree, and that could be his first blood secured. Yes, the smack from Collapse just to... But he can just charge out of there. The kiss is getting thrown out by Laurel towards Storm Storm, who's going to get jumped by oh Mira. And that goodness. is going to be a nice kill secured there, making sure that the Tinker is uh, not starting. He can't teleport out reliably. That's one benefit. Uh, uses the arena to benefit with a kill under the Disruptor. Went from Mana Boots, first sight. Annoyed by Mira, who doesn't even have his level 6 yet. So I'm so much in TP through. But they're gonna go for Lal, because there's Watson on the other side. Lal, can you get away? The slow comes out onto Katomi. But they will be able to get the stun connected, and Lal should die. Glimpse back, surrounded. That's a big kill onto the enemy's mid laner. And that's a pretty big one. They also. Do the frontline tanking. As you have. You know, the Ricky, the Morphling, kind of just bobbing and weaving, dancing around. Being annoying, but they have to deal with this Mars creating all this space. Oh, 
Oh, Katomi in mid is gonna get controlled. Kessis comes out. He's trying to stay close range to Laurel, but actually, Laurel gets the damage regardless. Storm Stormer. He's got his Blink Dagger now done. Okay, blinking a little bit further forward <laughs> would be kind of suicide because Collapse has his own, gets the jump onto Fishman. Now everyone is uh, TPing en masse to make sure that mid lane gets defense to make their lineup work. However, Watson is top net worth on that Nature's Prophet going for that uh, Milstrom next to get the Gleipnir to be able to control his opponents a bit more. And actually, right now, Yathro takes some heavy damage. The arena comes out. He should be able to stay alive in the process. Snowball aggressively. Watson just TP'd in the middle of all that shenanigan. Will be taken down. The collapse should fall immediately afterwards. So there's no escaping, especially with Storm Stormer on the Tinker. Did you play about that? And oh boy, I don't think those ancient stacks have been farmed just yet. Or they're just being farmed now. But he's not going to be able to finish them off. Instead, he'll be finished off, taken out by Laurel. And they are finding a Disruptor too. They want to follow this up. They're calling in the Spirit Breaker, possibly the Nature's Prophet. They want to oh, bring in damage. the rotation. The healing. In return, they've got themselves a mech on the side of Team Spirit. I do not actually know who has the mech right now. But in is the jump from Collapse, gets the catch going onto. Watson and the Nature's Prophet will falter. There's also a big neutral stack to be cleared up in the process. Katomi tries to run away, but he's going to be held back by Mavoka. With the tag team damage, they have more than enough to take him down. Not going as aggressive and cheeky early to be exposed weak on weaponry with the Naga. And oh boy, they're taking the duel to this DP. Oh, another staff viral. So much damage. Spirit Siphon just saving her for oh, now. Oh, again, Watson. He TPs in the middle of everyone right there. Needs to back out. Needs a bit of support. There's going to be a TP attempt, but it will be in front of the collapse. going to be taken down within the road, but it will be Watson finished off. The Tinker, though, is still a scary prospect. Luckily enough, does not have any lot through everything. Toby gets stunned. But a nice silence in time to make sure Collapse can't use any more spells. Mira with a sleep dart onto Kata Omi with the kisses coming in through the arena. It's a big problem here. They got the Tinker out of harm's way though. But the rest of the team is not going to be so lucky. Fishman TP to inside some kinetic field, but he knows he's a goner in the process. Will be a third one. Low HP, high agi and damage. He'll probably just want the status resist, you said. Getting a bash or two tucked in, pretty fun as well. Oh man, that Mars just deletes the nature's profit. It's disgusting. Oh no. Gonna get away, they're gonna chase him down, and yeah, that's an easy uh, double kill there. Yatro is, uh, I mean, he's got his items, just only the BKB that. <laughs> Able to get away. Ricky's oh. going to see it. That Shiva's hurts him a bit, but he follows up with the sleep dart, and there's the tusk, the snowball in, follow up. There's the punch. Should be able to escape, but the Morris is in just in time. Got to Omi. Uh, he's trying to keep them occupied. In comes Toby. Has the Guardian Greaves. Arena doesn't get dropped. There is an Exo, but using it will probably be at more risk than reward in this situation. Actually, Hudson TP'd in the oh, middle of no. everything again. Oh my, Watson. Toby now is going to be uh, just jumped by the rest of the team. Didn't get his Exorcism off just yet, so doesn't even have the uh, extra damage coming out. Does use it now, which is a decent amount later. They are dro dropping pretty low in HP, and... Yato wasn't there just yet. But they are just gonna oh. get double speared by Collapse's shard. And they're gonna get cleaned up without a single loss on the side of Team Spirit. That was such a... Give the three Observer wards just tracking anyone that exits that dire base. Ooh. Bit of anti-synergy, but regardless, it's uh, another freebie there for Yatoro. And he turned into that Spirit Breaker, so with the Agnum Scepter, he's got the uh, Spirit Breaker Ags version. So it's the uh, cooldown reduction on the charge. And we'll be able to get himself a pretty substantial kill. Yeah, they're getting uh, pretty much torn apart here on the side of Entity. There I go. Psych. 
God, that is terrifying. Watson with the TP. Sleeping dart. Oh, not again. Pops the TP. TP number two. War is punch. Yep. Just going for this E Blade shotgun essentially. Speaking of which, they're going to try to shotgun down this Ricky. To try to cookie hop him out of there, the Yule Scepter will help him delay, and it actually, in fact, dispels the dust to the detect, so he's able to blink onto the DP. Oh, and the Mabosha. BKB's just barely enough, but Mabosha comes in just in time. Should be able to be right click down, and even the Snowball follow up. Oh no, the Borklink's here now. Lol got taken down though, they did lose the Snapfire in the process, but without the danger it's a little bit more problematic. Toby's gonna get jumped, silenced up as well, and Maposhka with a double kill on the Tuscaroo. Uh, Yathro's got himself the Scotty done, so the healing of the DP. Sweet start. that's the Death Prophet! Toby's getting defended currently, they are gonna jump in, more Smithskis systems out, can they keep him alive? Toby is dropping low, Toby is dead! And currently, Katoni trying to make space, but uh, he's actually going to be able to get the TP, or... Nope, he's not. He's still got controlled in the area. So, uh... There, that's a painful moment. Looking up towards the high ground is going to be the push center. So I'm trying to defend. Gets immediately hexed up by... Laurel, there's the cookie sun as well. So, until he's dead, buys back. Buys that defend his base, but the rest of his team is dropping like flies. Dieback coming out on the pick. The Tinker spam is going to, at the very least, keep them at bay for more chaos to be uh, prolonged. Toby building up the pipe next. But right now, the, the magic damage is not the big problem. Boshka, though, ooh, gets a blink back. There is a chase coming up from the Tinker. And he will be able to keep them. Actually, no, the glimpse from Fishman catches out the Tusk wow. and they take the small successes. Throws it in. They're relying on this Tinker with the defense matrix to stop this Ricky from being so problematic. Uh, I won't stop the Morphling from going That's in. That's a dieback. That's a dead Tinker. That should be good. Yep, there's the GP call. There it is. It was a very controlled game by Team Spirit. Uh, collapse of Super Doctor on Morphling as well. Confused. I guess it's nice to get another bash in, but they're being bullied back right now, and a lot of damage. The second smack comes on to collapse, gets taken down. Fishman up against Mira. The bash comes out from Mira. One more right click needed, or so you think. Good hook to make sure that a uh, uh, Mirana would not be taken down. And I can't blame him there. And he suicides to get the uh, faster respawn. Not going to be easy, especially with Storm Stormer. Amazing puck player. Oh, Mira gets uh, taken down. Another kill in that bottom lane and in that bottom lane currently. Speaking of struggling, Collapse is going to get hooked back again, and another one for Watson. This. Let's just stick to the bottom lane, okay? Because everything's happening. Attention towards. Toby has uh, gotten a significant amount more creep farm. Collapse actually again hooked in the process. And heals up a lot, at the very least, but will again die to Watson. Mira, no mana for a charge. Tried to get a lucky bash onto Fishman, but Watson is scaring uh, off the uh, Spirit Breaker. Actually, Watson is going to hook the Spirit Breaker. Time when you had a storm with uh, a lot more of the uh, starting items right now. A kill comes in from Yatro. Well, uh, Marcy has been pretty strong against the Pudge uh, as of late. With the ulti, Marcy can definitely kill him. Uh, depending on how much farm you have, obviously. Uh, TP towards bottom, Storm Storm is able to get the kill. Nice roll of thunder, and actually the DP is healing a little bit too much. They might find the kill off. Watson, they do take him down to four kill. Secured for collapse, and that is a great rotate. Yeah, painful in that lane. Toby's gonna get jumped by Yatero. A lot of damage while bottom lane. Watson with the exorcism will lose his life to collapse. And the fact that you can just... Because one thing that Marcy is really weak at is farming the jungle. And that's the biggest downside the hero has. Speaking of downsides, bottom lane. A lot of damage coming in. And it's gonna be with the ulti. Coming. Just the ring of health. Oh, Watson. You wanna finish up Vanguard. It's gonna make him nice a little side. bit extra squishy. But is it enough to keep him alive? There's going to be a fight ensuing. Watson's dropping very low. They will 
possibly kill off this one. Luposka will be caught on the back end. Yatoro popped his ulti and he's going to go in for Toby, who does have a significant amount of armor, which makes it reasonably long, lengthy to kill him off. Right now, Stormstorm needs to bail out. His teammates are starting to dwindle pretty quickly. Fishman inside the trees. Mira might actually be taken down here with the last right click. We'll be able to secure it. And on the opposing side, it is Yatro falling as well. The arrow lands. Oh my god, Fishman. The collapse is uh, still leading up from his eclipse. From his ulti in the process, oh, oh, oh. to get taken down because there are two fours still in the running. Watson with a good hook to keep the DP at bay. There is a mech to heal himself up. Is, are they going to have the damage with the arrow? They will be able to interrupt the DP. And now it's Laro on the run with a swashbuckle. Should be able to kill off Fishman and will be able to find that kill. But that swashbuckle for the kill is actually going to cost him his ult up. Mira is going to get jumped here. Gets the charge away, or so he thinks the Dream Call will be able to interrupt him and they'll find themselves. The Spirit Breaker with prop just has his Witchblade done, so he does do a lot of damage. Speaking of a lot of damage, there's going to be a quick jump here. The hook comes in. They don't need the Sleeping Dart if you got an arrow. Nice Dream Call keeps the Marcy actually out of it. For now, Fishman's going to get completely locked down. They're trying to disengage, but they'll find two. A lot of uh, I know oh. so everyone can say. Gay Watson? Sure. Just randomly. Well, not randomly. He obviously went for that up, but uh, collapsed. Not paying attention for half a soon enough. And sleeping darts to arrow into hook. The combo of arrow and hook into the kill to be picked up. Fishman's trying to quickly counter ward the vision that they have in the area. Mira is actually going for Fishman here. Storm the Rolling Thunder has ended though. Dreamfall onto two, including Yatoro. And if they can get that kill, that would be a huge one. On the side, the hook's going to be a bit off the mark. Toby will lose his life. And with the exorcism coming out, they need to back off on Entity. Laurel kept them distracted on the Spirit Breaker to make sure that it will immediately evaporate from his ally. But they will find themselves a farming nature's profit, and that is Toby controlled right now. The smoke gets, does get thrown out. Toby can he get himself back, and will not be possible. They're looking for an attack inside the Radiant Jungle. Watson's going to be spotted out, doesn't have his BKB just yet, and his teammates are also very far away. Does do a lot of damage, but it's not going to be nearly enough. Buck might be able to get the kill from Maposhka. And with the Dream Call thrown out, will the puck be able to stay alive? Stormstormer is actually in trouble here. The charge, the stun lock, it's a hefty amount of damage. Within the Fusal Blade, he actually doesn't have any mana on the puck to get out. Will not be able to oh. blink out either. So another take Roshan with the Exorcism. They will get a very quick catch on to Fishman. Now that he's died, they're next to the pit. Yato has popped his ulti. Team Spirit don't want to contest. Yeah, they, uh... Did not expect the uh, Roche steal to come in. They get one kill. Looking in for Mira. Can get the charge away. But the hook. Ooh, oh, my lord. Uh, use that for a later refresh orb if so needed. Or a Lotus Orb. Nice arrow comes landing in. And afterwards, the collapse was blocking the hook for some reason. Is he going to be able to stay alive? Is the question. That is not going to be the case. I'm really questioning that move. Collapse is soaking a hook. For his five position, Maposhka to spend. However, it seems to still be paying off in their favor right now. Viva comes out from the box, so he needs to rejoin his teammates. Nice smoke screen, but there's so much damage coming out onto the bike. Way more than he anticipated. And they will get the catch onto Watson. Regardless, they went a little bit too deep here on the side of Entity. Them to uh, immediately blow him up. There's going to be a buyback action. The arrow lands onto Collapse on the back line. Dream Call onto a multitude of enemies. They are uh, after that Dream Call and they're going to try and bail out. Is that going to be possible here? Not for Fishman. He's going to get blown up by Yatoro. Going to surround Stormstorm. He needs to be careful because Stormstorm does not have a buyback available. He's jumping and jiving through the entire team fight. <laughs> he wants to kill the Maposhka and they are going in for more. There's no rolling thunder from LOL either. Didn't pop out his BKB. Can they get away? Oh, that hook just off the mark. What he wants to do with all the movement speed buffs, his team, the war cry, to give the additional armor just so they can ignore the exorcism and dive in. And boy, they're going to have to fight this directly. 
the puck with the dream coil to keep them locked out. There's no follow up just yet, but that's where the spear breaker comes oh in. Oh my god. To try to find the answer. Plus, is dead in a second right there. Gets evaporated going forward. Yatsuru with a double kicking at this stage, and Marcy does so much physical damage. A bunch more armor. And there's going to be a hook save coming in. But on to the high ground, it is going to be Lal chasing for more. Toby needs to try and get more four steps in his favor, but that's not going to be the case. He's going to get rolled upon. Nice four step there by Fishman. Leaps back towards his own high ground. And they're very deep. Hook on to Mira. Drag back the Spirit Breaker. Mira can get taken out. It doesn't matter because Yato is going to burst down the pipe, jumping in for more. Absolutely evaporating his opponents. It's going to be Toby next. Down for the count. No Pyro can hold for the heroes, and that is going to be Entity losing game number three and Team Spirit that take the series, eliminating Entity from the Bet Boom Universe tournament. Bit of misclick, uh, 